Hello, we're going to look at combinations today. Combinations are similar to permutations, only the order doesn't matter. I'll show you a little bit about that and try and explain a little bit about what combinations are. So here's the equation for combinations. It's important that we understand this equation and how it works. Um, the exclamation mark is a factorial. If you're not familiar with those, you want to make sure and go watch a video about that. Um, but I'll show you briefly what they mean kind of in the future, but it is important to understand how to, how to use those. All right, C is the combination, N is the total number of items, and R is the number taken at one time. With combinations, the order doesn't matter. So um, in the question example that I'm going to give, I'm giving examples with colors, and the order doesn't matter. If you had, for example, red, white, blue, and instead you put it blue, white, red, or blue, red, white, or, or white, you know, red, blue, or anything, the order wouldn't matter. It would all be considered one combination of red, white, and blue together. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at, like I said, the examples using colors. There are seven different colors. How many combinations can be made using three different colored stripes? So if we're making a flag or something, again, the, the color order doesn't matter. So how many different combinations could we make of three different colors? All right, using just those seven that are there. So our equation combination is, remember, n is going to be the larger number. And you can see that in this equation right here. Um, n minus r, you know that n needs to be the larger number. Otherwise, you're going to get negatives in here, and that just wouldn't work. So um, n needs to be the larger number. n is the total number, 7 in this case. And the number being taken at one time is 3. So we will rewrite this equation, putting 7 in for n and 3 in for r. In the future, what we'll do is have this down here. And some questions may simply give you solve this. And they would have c with two numbers at the bottom. And you just need to substitute it into this equation, knowing that the first number, n, is going to be on the left, and the r value is going to be on the right, so 7 and 3. All right, so let's plug it into this equation. n factorial of n, in this case, the factorial is 7, and 3 factorial times 7 minus 3 factorial. Now, what factorials are here is 7 exclamation point means 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All right, you take every whole number less than in, and including that down to 1. We obviously don't multiply times 0 at the end because that would make no sense. It would just always turn into to 0. And then this is 7 minus 3, which is 4 factorial. So that'll be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So all of that is there. And we can cancel out everything that's exactly the same on the top and on the bottom. We could also factor out 3 times 2 is 6, so we could factor out 6 on the top and bottom. If you want to get into that, you can. I'm In this example, I'm just going to cancel out everything that's exactly the same on the top and on the bottom, uh, and then we'll reduce later. So I'm canceling out 4, 3, 2, 1 which leaves us with 7 times 6 times 5 on the top and 3 times 2 times 1 on the bottom. That gives us 210 over 6, which is equal to 35. Now, if we canceled out 3 times 2 with the 6, we would have had 7 times 5, which is 35. So it would have saved us a little bit of time. We would have gotten to the correct final answer. But that's how, how these combinations work. So there's a total of 35 different types of three colored strips that you could make using um, the combination of three, not the order not mattering. All right. If the order mattered, of course, it would be many more than that. But that is a permutation. And we're not worried about that right now. We're doing combinations where the order does not matter. I want to show you one more example of a combination. And this one here um, should be pretty obvious from the very beginning um, what the answer will be. Again, we'll use our seven different colors. How many different combinations can be made using all seven colors? Now, when you look, think about that, think about, I don't know, decorating a room with like seven different colored streamers or something. Maybe it's like, I don't know, whatever. And, and you're trying to 
use all of those colors at one time, how many different combinations can be made? I mean, it should be pretty obvious that there's only one combination that you could ever make. But the reason I'm showing you this is so that you'll see that using the combination equation, it does work out that it, it will give you the answer of 1. So in this case, um, n, the total number, is 7, and r, the number we're taking at the same time, is 7. All right. I also want to point out sometimes this um, r factorial is on the, the right over here. It doesn't make a difference. When you're multiplying, it doesn't matter what order you do it in. So you can put it in front or, or afterwards. It doesn't really matter. All right. So all of our numbers are 7, which makes it nice. And this is, I think, the key right here. 7 minus 7 is 0. Remember, the factorial of 0 is not 0. It's 1. All right? So when we write out everything, we have the 7 factorial, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then we have the same thing on the bottom, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then we have 0 factorial, which is equal to 1. All right? So we're multiplying times 1 again. We can cancel out everything that's exactly the same on the top and bottom. Remember, canceling doesn't mean we get rid of it. It means we are dividing it. So we're left with 1 on the top and 1 on the bottom. So when you cancel out, you essentially make that into 1. And this is 1 times 1, which gives us 1 over 1, or in other words, 1. There's a total of one combination that can be made if you use all the colors at one time. And the reason I show you this example mainly um, is probably to show you that 0 factorial will equal 1, and um, maybe prove that the equation does work. But um, mainly, it was to show that this will work with you know, non-zero numbers um, and that the combination kind of it makes sense with this one. At least we can kind of wrap our head around it. So there are two examples. Remember, the key n is always larger than r because you're subtracting here. So the total number needs to be larger than the number you're pulling out. And with combinations, the order does not matters. So there's a couple examples for you.